now we need to run our bilge. We've already went through, found our bilge pump location, and traced down the leads. Bilge pumps will have brown leads going to them. One's going to be hot all the time, the other one is going to be uh, on a switch side. What we want to do is tap on to the switched lead on the bilge and that's going to sense when the bilge is on that'll make that lead live with 12 volts all the time and it'll start counting on the bilge on how long it ran for. For bilge 1 and bilge 2 there's two leads blue lead for bilge 1 and a gray lead for bilge 2. So if you want to do more than one bilge you can do that. If you want to do a high water also and then there's an orange lead for a separate high water switch. And what we're going to do is run a lead to our bilge and run it back to our harness. Okay we're going to run run our extension lead from where we're going to tie into our bilge lead. Run these wires back through here. Probably go ahead and feed those into the wire loom after I this on. Now we found our lead we're going to tap into for the bilge. That bilge is turned on. This will sense that bilge being turned on and start running the counter and send you alerts. Put some electric tape around this connection. Put a water tie around that on both ends. 